We were looking for a beer. We think we may have accidentally walked into the the, the, the home the home end. <laughs> and, uh, good I'm man. Injured. They don't think I'm As, by the way, this man goes absolutely ham on the, on the music, he is creating the Rubenstein background music for this one. Right then, here we are. Welcome to the Dortmund Stadium. Uh, we have made our way over here along with many other Newcastle United fans. The, the train, my God, just getting here on a 10 minute train. There was so many juries on it, singing different songs from different carriages. The atmosphere is well and truly alive here as it just starts to simmer into the evening. We are here pretty early, it's actually two hours till kickoff. We thought we'd leave the, the market square. If you didn't see that video already, I highly suggest you check it out. 15,000 juries crowd in the centre of Dortmund. But now it's game time. I think it's going to be a tough one tonight. Everyone I've spoken to has said that both teams will score and most are hoping that Newcastle can take the win. I'll tell you what, I think a draw away today is a good result. There it is. The yellow and black meets the black and white. We were looking for a beer. We think we may have accidentally walked into the, 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 home, the home end. Um, well, I'll keep you updated on how we get on in here. Uh, if I make it to the game and you watch this video, it means we survived. I'll tell you what, they've done so well here. Yeah. So many outside areas for bars and drinks. You don't have to go into the stadium. Hopefully that's what Newcastle will have very soon with the fan zone. Despite the Dortmund song playing in the background, they've done really well out here. Um, just thought we were a lovely Dortmund couple who told us not to hide our Newcastle tops <laughs> and that we should be proud of them. Which is, it was good. I mean, we always say it in Newcastle as well around the like the home bars. We don't really have any home or away bars in Newcastle. We always, or at least I do, kind of pride ourselves on the fact that we, we don't make them go to the cinema and like, go to the game, go to the big market, go wherever you want, enjoy yourself. We've kind of accidentally walked in here because it was the only place that accepted cards. All the places outside were all cash only. So we accidentally ended up in the, in the Dortmund bar, but tell you what, it's good. And I'll talk a little bit more about it in a moment when I get outside, but I think the idea of you know, Newcastle's... Oh, I don't know what you're saying. I'm not doing that thing in the time. You're singing. I'm in hands. I'm in They don't think I'm in hands. They don't think I'm in hands. They don't think I'm I'm hoping that was all PG because I haven't got a clue. There's a couple of Johnnies, we weren't the only ones in there. There you go. <laughs> you can see over here is the stadium and just to the left we have bar number one bar number two kiosk number three kiosk number four kiosk number five as the Dortmund and Newcastle fans make their way into the stadium we got here two hours early and there is no massive rush to get inside because you can quite um, honestly enjoy yourself outside with the home fans with the away fans it's great to see the, um, the Dortmund fans kind of embracing the Jory Nation in, in all of the pubs and have let everybody in um, and it's been ex extremely well received all around. So yeah, loving it so far, um, heading in there very soon.
Cheers. Just coming out the bar behind me there. I honestly, walked in there, your castle top's on, accidentally walked in. The reason we went in there is because a lot of these bars outside the ground, which I must say, they are cash only, which would be great if maybe there'd been some prior warning on that, but generally speaking, but it was great to kind of come along here and not feel two hours early, you know, the massive rush to get inside. Now we are gonna get in there very early, don't get me wrong. We're gonna head in there very shortly. The reason we went ended up down there was because it was we only had card and you had to go in the bar to get card, walk down there, yellow, yellow tops everywhere. I'm thinking, oh dear. Um, but no one got in, got a drink, was was great, and I, and I cannot wait. As by the way, this man goes absolutely ham on the, on the music. He is creating the Rubenstein background music for this one. Yeah, love it. Love what Dortmund are doing out here with home away, whatever. You know, Newcastle fans are the same, and I cannot wait to see us bring that fan zone to Newcastle United and be able to put on something very, very similar. I would love to expand it even further, close the road outside of St. James's Park, put a couple of kiosks in, get a couple of beers on the go, and it just creates that bit of atmosphere on the way to the stadium. But yeah, I thought I'd highlight it. I've enjoyed it out here, but I cannot wait to get inside. Hope you guys have enjoyed this one as always. Um, a bit of behind the scenes at Dortmund as to what to expect if you ever come here on an away day yourself or Hope the Geordies come back here again. All right, let's get going. Yeah. <laughs> 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 